Yes, let's go. Let's go. Oh. This is Mark and Roger on our epic journey to the summit of Ooh. where are we going? Uh, Here, a signpost. It's the Revelin Moss Trial thing. Oh, I can't make it out. Here we are. Yeah. Right, this is the path we must take in order to climb the summit. What's that summit called, Mark? Where uh, are we going? Winslat. Winslat? Yes, Winslat. Oh look, there's a, there's a butterfly. Winslat. So here we go. Um, it's up there we've got to be, right at the top. We did this, we did this last year, didn't we, mister? We did, mister. And it was quite windy and... Uh, Very windy. We saw two lesbians blown to their deaths because they went down the wrong way. That's right. We decided to go back the way we came, the safe way, but these lesbians, you know how they are, daredevils. They decided, no, we'll go across that one foot wide precipice in this gale. Which, and, and obviously they came croppers, didn't they? They did, mister. But anyway, we're not going to do that. It's quite nice and calm, the sun's coming out, it's warming up. We're soon going to have to take our fleeces off and other clothing. So anyway, I'll, I'll pause for now and um, we'll, we'll rejoin this epic journey at the base of the summit before we take the long, now is it ascend? Yeah. Ascent? Ascent? Yes, ascent? The ascent? We're taking the ascent upwards to the top of the world. So, from, 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 for now. You're going back in my pocket. Alright, that's where we've been. And you can pan round. Oh, and here, this is where we're going to go. This is Grisdale Pike. There we are. Grisdale Pike. And it's in this direction as we follow the less, lesser spotted Whittlesea. And this is the first part of our treacherous, gruelling journey, all the way up here. He's not going to attempt the sty, or style, however they call them, I don't know. Right, oh it doesn't seem so bad, does it? All we've got to do is walk up there. Now then, we've come this far, so far, and yet we have to go all that way. Come on then. Come on then. Right, we're nearly at the top. Oh, now if you can make out over there, there's Keswick, that's stone water, 
Oh my good fathers, here comes Mark. I just ran all this way. I shouldn't have really. Here he comes so plodding on like a faithful old shire horse. If it was a gent he'd give me a piggyback the rest of the way but no. Let's just have a quick look here. Zoom in look there. Oh it's a bit blurry but well I can't really make out that but that's Keswick. Anyway and here we go. Still got a bit of a way to go but we'll get there even if it kills us. What do they call that stuff? Yeah, no, but the box is made of. Oh, slate, not slag. Anyway, as you can see, somebody's left some flowers there to mark where those foolish lesbians fell last year. We knew it was coming, but we thought, well, they're only lesbians. Plenty more where they came from. Anyway, here we are. Here we are. Mark's a bit chilly. Look, put his fleece on. I'm still baking. Um, I can't tell you where we're looking at, I've no idea. Not much to look at, I admit. There we go, and up over there, I think you can just make it out. Let's have a look. Oh, can't see through my viewfinder because it's not on. But that's uh, Keswick down there, I think. Oh, let me just have a look. Oh, I can see through the viewfinder now. There's Doe Water. We walked all the way around that yesterday. And uh, there we have it. We've done it. The last time we came here, we couldn't linger for long. We couldn't even stand up. We couldn't stand up, no. We had to cling to the rocks for dear life because it was that windy. But now spend some time. Look at all these! These are flying ants. This is where they lay their head. Right at the top. The wind's picking up now. So, what's, what's this walk called? Grisdale something? Grisdale Pike. Grisdale Pike. That's, that's Roger and Mark signing off. Date is I've no idea. The date is the 9th of It's the 11th of September. That's five years ago today when those twin towers collapsed. I'm sure everyone remembers what they were doing. I was at work that day and we heard, heard snippets of uh, customers coming in saying odd things and we didn't get the full story until it was home time, but it was my day for running. I went straight to Bob's house for a run. And we watched it on the news before we went out for our run round, round wherever we went that day. And I first learned to run when I went to work on Ward 39 at York District Hospital, which is the stroke ward. And uh, I was on a late, so I started at two o'clock. So did you not see any news before you left home? No, I didn't for some reason. I think it's because I was busy studying. So I was had my head in the books. And then I got there and um, none of the nurses were really that aware of what was going on. And I was sat at the nurses station and I looked into one of the bays and the television was on. And I could see one of the towers on fire. So I said to Max, I think it was, who I worked with. I said to Max, what's going on there? And she said, I haven't a clue. So we went in and turned up the sound. And then next minute, we were all absolutely glued to the telly for the rest of the afternoon. So patients the patients didn't... suffered. No, they didn't <laughs> suffer. They did not suffer at all. In fact, the patients was uh, amazed by it as, as we, we were. And then sort of once the initial shock was over, we sort of carried on and 
kept bobbing in and having a look. But yes, it was uh, amazing and raveling. And then when the second tower got um, struck by the aircraft, that was absolutely, well, we were just completely done for Because I don't think they caught, did they catch the first one on? I don't think they caught the first one on the, didn't actually catch the first one on film, did they? I don't recollect. I, all I remember doing is ter going onto the ward, sitting down, because they normally had a, did hand over about two o'clock, so we normally had a cup of tea and stuff like that. And it was then that we saw the, t the first tower on fire. And then we then heard, you know, uh, somebody going, oh my God, there's another one. And we sort of all rushed into the bay to find a patient pointing at the telly as, as uh, they showed a replay of a, another Boeing going into that building, into the South Tower, wasn't it? So yes, it's quite, quite an amazing thing. Now I think we're going to be joined by somebody, so it's going to out now. Somebody who's obviously just strolled up here in five minutes. Some old people. They've come up on a standard chair. Anyway, we've done it, so that's Roger and Mark signing out.